What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. And I'm just out and about today because I'm going to be starting a 10 day detox. And what I want, how I want to start it out was I asked for some of the ideals on my community posts from some of my subscribers. And I think I found one subscriber so far that I really want to roll with of doing a 10 day detox and it consists of juice the juicer which was easy for me because I do have a juicer um I have the Nutribullet which is the best to me you know and um so um she named up all these vegetables and she was like go with this for 10 days and I have done it before y'all and I have dropped a lot of weight um actually uh, I think I dropped like 17 to 20 pounds within two weeks because I did a, a two weeks uh smoothie challenge and um, I had did it years ago. I think it was in the year of 2016. And it was so hard. It's it's so hard to get back on that. It's so hard. I know it works, but it's so hard. So I think I'm going to go along with this journey. I think I tried it once before back in 2018 with y'all. When I moved to when I first moved to Georgia, I tried to do the smoothie detox or whatever. Um two weeks challenge. I couldn't, I fell off or whatever. But um i think this round um i'm going to plus you know i want to see if i could remedy some of the problem because i know that when you when you're getting a breast reduction um they he said that uh your breasts are going to be lifted and smaller so it's going to seem that your stomach area is going to appear more you're going to notice it being that i'm a heavy breasted woman on uh, my breasts tend to cover over over my belly part which is a good thing but the bad thing is you know they're heavy and they hurt my back but when they become smaller and reduced or whatever that belly area is going to be exposed and reduced so i'm trying to do some head start um before the surgery or whatever and get some of uh, um this you know burn some of this belly fat get some of it down because i can't i can't be like that either i don't want to be no you know small up here and poked out good in the i can't i just i just can't be like that y'all so you know i just want y'all to stay tuned with me and i'm gonna call out the subscriber when i get a chance i'm coming back to this video so yeah stay tuned hey love bugs and muffins i am back yesterday was a totally different day my intro when i came on and said i am going to be starting blah 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 this is another day and I didn't get to the store yesterday so this is why I'm back today but I did go out and I, I I grabbed some fruits and some vegetables I did grab fresh vegetables but however I don't have everything but I am going to y'all ideals on my community post I'll just let y'all know I do read them so um, I'm gonna go I'm not gonna grab everybody's name on his list but a lot of you all had good ideas and Kamisha Moore she said juicing is always good here's a recipe I use at home green apples so I thought about your I got four of these green apples I got four of them Kamisha uh green apples kale and spinach so I went out and I got some spinach I got fresh stuff because Y'all was saying it's better fresh instead of frozen or canned. So I got fresh. So I got the, I got your um, spinach and your green apples. And um, I have to go back and get kale, celery. I do have pineapples. I got two of these pineapples. Um, um, I looked at the oranges and didn't grab them. So I have to go back and get oranges, ginger, lemon lime and turmeric it's a lot of things i have to get because i do want to do this cleanse she says it this will help cleanse you as well i would suggest watching carbs and calorie intake i have lost 14 pounds in three weeks by cutting out carbs completely and limiting calories drink a lot drink lots of water as well i like it that one I just swore I, I, it was a, I knew it was a whole bunch of other stuff however y'all I went to Walmart and Walmart didn't have near half because I I wanted to come in here and make this fruit salad like I have um two of these cantaloupes I have two pineapples I just showed um I have fresh strawberries I have um fresh blueberries um I also grabbed some kiwi I have four of these I actually went out and bought three avocados okay now I grabbed avocados for another reason 
Um, I saw this lady, she was choosing avocados in the store and I asked her, uh, how do those, how do you prepare those? Like what, why, why do you eat those? Why, why, you know, I know it makes guacamole or whatever, but I just wanted to see if somebody prepared it a different way besides guacamole. And what she told me was I like, so I grabbed three of them. She said, what you do is peel them and of course, and you take, uh, you, you know, scrape out the insides, whatever you smash it, you put, um, a little pepper and salt and she said she cut up onions and tomatoes a little dice little tomatoes in it and she kind of mixed it together and she makes it like a sandwich spread over wheat bread she said or you could just sometimes like maybe eat it by yourself i never done that before but when she said the salt and the pepper and the the uh onions it kind of you know like hmm that's not like that might be good whatever so I bought three avocados. Um, also, maybe I could put it over in my juicer. Now I thought about the juicer and I'm, I got several things in my mind here. It's like, um, I wanna do Kamisha Moore's because I, I like all the ingredients that was in that. Plus I know that I need to cut back from carbs. But also y'all, I had grabbed <clears throat> um, some cucumbers and um, green pepper and some um, tomatoes, um, the angel sweet tomatoes, whatever. And I grabbed um, some some salad. I didn't grab a spring mix. I grabbed the iceberg, and I liked the fact that it had carrots and I think that's green cabbage already cut up in it. Um, and I got this big thing, like I said, a spinach. So I got three things going in my head at the same time. I'm thinking juicer, I want a, um, a seven layer salad. I near not have the stuff here for a seven layer salad. Um, I'm gonna make that after the fact though. I wanna do that that juicer and I, and I wanna do it for 10 days. I wanna do that. Also, I'm gonna go down the list of other stuff. I heard Lolo, she said Total Life Changes has detox tea. Um, Angel Love said, try taking black seed oil. It's good for you and you will, it'll help you lose weight. You're doing great, keep up the good work. Try and also do 10 to 15 minute exercise with the, with the band is good also to tone up. You can do it while watching TV, blessings always. With the band, what are, we, are you talking about, you, you, you thinking I'm getting a surgery or something for the, anyway. The exercise part, they're opening back up the gyms tomorrow where I live at. Um, we basically have our own gym. Also, y'all, I have a confession. There is a treadmill. I have bought a treadmill. There is a treadmill downstairs in my garage, y'all. And I ain't been on it. Confessing. Confess. And it's terrible because, I don't know. I just make excuses for everything. I don't go down to the basement. I don't feel like going upstairs and <laughs> and all of that and and then I say well when they open up the gym over here which is much larger and spaced out and they have several different machines besides the treadmill I said I'm gonna go over there but that treadmill was supposed to be moved upstairs I wanted it right there because I know if it's there from that couch to that right here by this kitchen that area I thought about making just putting the treadmill there and I'm like I'm gonna get on it but I feel like if it's down the stairs and out the door, down the stairs and in the garage, I'm not gonna do it, y'all. And I have to get out of that. I have to get out of that. I also have to get out of walking around, not walking around. Um, some days my knee does bother me. It does bother me because it depends on the weather. But I do have to get out of the habit of riding around an Amigo cart in Walmart. Today was nothing wrong with my knee. I was walking so fast around Walmart and it was like, Dang, I didn't even need that Amigo cart while I was in here, while I was using it, but I had forgot something. I was like, forget it, that Amigo cart too slow. So I got, got, came back out to the car. I got my purse and I went back because I left my card in my car. And um, so I came back to the store and I was like, um, let me just, I'd rather just walk because that Amigo too slow. So I'm flying in there around the store, you know, grabbing stuff. And I also had to tell myself, Reva, you're gonna have to do more walking and stop using that Amigo because I had got adjust, adjusted to it, used to it from when my knee was hurting two years ago and I couldn't 
I really couldn't walk. You know, I was limping really bad. And I had the cane and everything. So I have to reprogram myself like all over again. Like, look, get to walking because that's the only way it's gonna come off. And back in the day, y'all, I'm telling them back in the day. But, you know, when I used to be a, a cigarette smoker, um, I used to walk. Walk, 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 walk. I can walk. One thing about me, I'll walk, I'll, I'll walk you, you know. And so I was um, always walking and when I was on dieting, uh, you know, I, would, I could diet and exercise basically. And, um, but when I stopped smoking, it seems like I just really gained a lot of weight, you know, since 2005. I put the weight on, that's when I put it on, 2005. And um, so what happened was, I know I kind of gotten used to, you know, relying on, I relied on that cigarette and, and, and ever since then it seemed like food took the place of that. You know, just munching out of boredom and eating out of, just eating out of, because you're bored and stuff like that. When a cigarette, it was, if I was mad or if I was upset, I would psh, go smoke me a cigarette, you know. But I don't do that anymore, so. The food had took the place of that and that's what put the weight on. And um, then, like years later, like I said in 2016, when I injured my knee, um, and, you know, I got used to, like I said, being on that Amigo cart. But the whole thing is, I have to not get used to that. I don't limp anymore when I walk. I walk quite well. It's just that when I go up and down the stairs, I'll use one leg to go down. Actually, I really don't need to do that. It's just the fact that I have to teach myself all over again to walk come down the stairs on two legs because when my leg was messed up, I did, I still pamper this leg. In other words, my, my right knee, I still pamper it. I'm so scared, y'all, that it's gonna pop out of place. And so I still baby it, so I come down the stairs like on one one, one leg at a time. When, when I get tired, sometimes I, I'm tired, I just go up on two legs with no problem. This leg is completely healed, but the fact that I baby it like that, and like I said, I have to train my mind all over again to walk. Walk on both your legs going up the stairs and coming down and it'll get better. So I'm gonna have to tell myself this, y'all. These are things that, these are habits that I have formed that I'm gonna have to break. So this is why I'm telling y'all this. Like I said, I'm starting out fresh and I got all my fruits around me and everything. And um, I got so much stuff that I wanna start at the same time. But I'm gonna go with Kamisha Moore said. I'm not gonna touch no carbs. Cutting out carbs completely and limiting calories. Drink lots of water. I am going to do that, Kamisha. Also, the uh, I am surviving vegan uh, watermelon flush with the grapefruit juice, I mean, with grapefruit detox. Um, bitten by Beauty 21 Lee, I think I'm going to add a little bit of some of yours in there. Cause um, like maybe if I get kind of tired of the smoothies, whatever I'm doing, maybe I can switch over to eat me some watermelon and some grapefruit. Cause sometimes that solid bite helps. You know, cause it's not all the time that you hungry or you just, it's just the fact that you want to crunch and munch on something. And I might get tired of these smoothies. So I want to get all this stuff and make all different types of smoothies and just add some of y'all's in here. And um, Joy G, I want to start yours, but I want to do it after the fact that I have juiced. Because I do like the, I be tearing me up some seafood, especially y'all. That hook and reel that's over there on Telegraph, oh my. They, they so good. They taste like juicy crabs in Georgia. And so I'll be tearing me up some king crab boils, okay? But I know this ain't the wrong time to do it. But I liked it, what she was saying. That looks real easy to do. Something easy, it is. Three days cut out meat, only seafood. Two days cut out meat and seafood. Two days the Daniel fast. Two days juicing. One day water fast. That sounds, it's, it's easy, you know, something. And then, um, authentic. Authentic, uh, authentic me of uh, 522 say, why don't you just try intermediate fasting? I'm gonna try yours after the fact that I'm off this juicing. After I get done with this juicing for 10 days, um, then I'll try that, the intermediate fasting, because I don't wanna go right into eating anyways. I wanna start it out like real slow, so I'll go to intermediate fasting, whatever. Making a Mimi, I was just thinking of a smoothie detox. So that's what I'm coming up with, y'all. I'm just doing a smoothie detox and I ain't never had no smoothie y'all with cantaloupe in it because I meant to make me a big giant fruit salad. I just wanted to go back and forth just in case y'all 
I'd be like, oh God, I can't, you know, with this uh, juicer um, smoothie uh, challenge or whatever. I, I wanted to keep me a big fruit salad around. Also, I bought things for, like I said, to make a salad. I wanted to keep that around, but with no cheese or nothing like that. Just flat out vegetables and fruit if I fail the juicer. So I'm, I'm just letting y'all know that. Because sometimes I have a habit of, oh my God, I can't, I gotta have something in my mouth. I gotta chew on something. I don't know if y'all ever been like that. You know what I'm saying? You be all right with a smoothie, you know what I'm saying? But it's just that you gotta have that chew, that bite on something. So if I get like that, I do wanna keep me a fruit salad around. So I just wanna let y'all know that that's what I'm doing. I went out and got all the things for it. I don't near have everything, like I said, of, my napkin, I'll wipe my face with, uh, you know, cucumbers and everything that I went out on. Like I said, I, I went and got. So this is all the stuff that I got. And I have to add more to it. Kamisha Moore. I'm ready to do this, y'all. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Trying. Hope y'all enjoying my content so far. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all my new subscribers for uh, joining my channel. And um, I appreciate you, every, each and every last one of you all. Thank you for your love and your support. And I just want y'all to know that y'all will appreciate it. My love bugs and love muffins. So peace out in Jesus' name. I'll try to be blessed.